So in terms of our service philosophy, we, we have a completely no hassle return policy. And uh, I think that's quite scary for some of our citizens and our franchisees. They, they always think that they're going to be abused and people are going to come back because we give a 100% guarantee that if you're not happy with your treatment, you don't have to pay. And we have a big sign in the store, not a little tiny thing at the back of our menu. It's big right up front there by the door. And people have taken a while to get used to that in terms of our, of our internal side. The, the guests, of course, love it. We, we have a situation that if you come into the store and you want to return a product, okay, and you've had it for six months and it's just got so much left and you say, look, you know, it's not working anymore. I'd like to give it back for a refund. Now, I think most other salons would simply say, you know, foot sack. Forget about it. What am I going to do with this? You know, six months. Where's your slip? Why did you bring it back so late? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But we'll take it back because we can't see why not. If you're going to give out a few hundred rand on a refund of a product, and you're going to create that loyalty, and you get them to sign up, we work out that the average loyalty member spends about five thousand rand a month. I mean, a year. Sorry. 5,000 rand a year with us. And um, if you're giving back a couple of hundred rand over five years, that's 25,000 rand that you're going to be getting back. So it's a very simple calculation. You know, spend 200 rand, get back 25,000, as long as you can retain the loyalty and you can keep them happy and satisfied. So we'll take back anything. We'll take back something that uh, wasn't even bought at us may have bought, been bought somewhere else, it's the same product, we keep it short. Let it come, sign the loyalty form please, and may we look after you for the next five to ten years. I had an interesting um, experience the other day in one of our, I won't mention names, one of our department stores here in South Africa. My wife and I went back to return a pair of shoes and we, we couldn't um, find where it was. Eventually we found customer services department went in there and we said, yeah, we'd like to, and we had the all-important life and death slip, you know, you have got to have that slip. We had the slip and we had the shoes and it was 1,200 Rand was the refund we requested. And everything was going fine and then the guy says, I'm sorry, sir, there's a problem. And I'm, I'm very passionate about these type of things, so I'm now waiting to see what's going to happen. He says, the shoes were 1,200 Rand when you bought them, but unfortunately, there's been a markdown subsequently, and it's now only 800 rand. And my system won't allow me to refund you more than 800. So I said, are you kidding? You know, are you serious? He said, yeah, no, I'm very serious. So I said to him, okay, I'll tell you what, why don't you get me a stepladder? And he looked at me curiously and he said, you know, well, why a stepladder? I said, well, I'm going to hold the stepladder while you climb up and take down the sign that says customer services, because it's not customer service, but you're talking about. And while you're busy doing that, I'm going to write another sign for you that says system problems. Because what you're telling me is that the system is more important than the customer. And he says, unfortunately, it's company policies. And then that was the final straw for me. And I lost it. And I said, right, who wrote the company policy? So the poor guy behind the counter, he says, I don't know, it's a very big company, so I have no idea who wrote the company policy. I said, well, I've got time, go and find him, or her. Because I want to meet the person who wrote the policy that says the system is more important than the customer. Because that person should be fired tomorrow morning. And uh, ultimately he did help me, the guy, because he gave me a gift card for the difference, uh, which was to, to his credit. But I think it's that kind of stuff, you know, where you find company policies written that are aimed completely at satisfying the needs of the administrators and the accountants in the business and have no bearing whatsoever on the needs of the customer. And I think that's what tends to happen is that when you have a manager, you have an employee and you have a customer, most of the time the employee is trying to please the manager and in so doing they have turned their backs on the guests. And that's really where we have a problem. We said, turn around 
We will then serve the people who are serving the people. And we'll give you everything you need to be able to go out there and serve to the very best of your ability. Thank you.